So what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. Just like HTML, it is a markup language, but the purpose behind it is data, not presentation. HTML is all about formatting content to be displayed on a web page. XML is about formatting data in a way that can be human readable as well as machine readable. So if you had a list of books, if you had sales information, if you had information about one computer that wanted to connect to another computer and you wanted to be able to transfer data between those two computers, XML is a very widely adopted format for data. Now, what I have here is a very, very basic XML file. The very first line in an XML file needs to be the XML declaration. So, starts with an angle bracket and a question mark and the words XML. So, that's the start of it. Question mark and angle bracket is the end of that line. Inside there, we need to have version 1.0 to say that we're using the first version of XML. And then, not required but strongly recommended, is the encoding. So we're saying what the character set is that we're going to be using for this data. And UTF-8 is what we're going to be using for almost everything on the web. So, what are the other rules that we need to create an XML file? Well, first, we need to have one root tag. So one tag that encompasses everything else on the web page, or sorry, in the XML file. The tags themselves, you get to pick. You get to make them up. Now, people have defined standards for different types of exchanging of information. There's SVG, Scalar Vector Graphics, which is a graphics format created entirely out of markup. There is RSS, really simple syndication. It's a way to um, list all the latest content on your website. It's also an XML format. Uh, Universal Plug and Play is also an XML format. Open Office is an XML format. However, if you're not using a format that's already predefined, you can come up with your own tags. So just like I'm going to do here, I'm going to define Fargo, the movie and the TV series. So I'm going to create a, a data file that describes this. My root tag is going to be Fargo. I've decided to do it all in lowercase. And I know that there's a movie. I know that there's a TV series. So those will be my next tags that I create. You'll notice brackets is automatically throwing the closing tag in here for me. It makes life a little bit easier. Okay, what other things can I say about this? Um, every tag needs to have a closing tag. Or, if it doesn't have a closing tag, then it needs to be self-closing, or what's also known as an empty tag. This would be a self-closing tag, or an empty tag. It means it has no text content inside of it. We can put some information here. Ethan Cohen... Uh, and his brother, <laughs> who we can't think of at the moment. But the uh, Cohen brothers, that's what I'll put for the moment. Okay, so this is a self-closing tag, an empty tag. Here's an opening and a closing tag, another opening and a closing tag. Uh, we can have attributes. If you add attributes, then you need to use double quotes around the values. So the movie was 1996, the TV series came out in 2014, and then nesting tags. So this tag is nested inside of these ones. It's a self-closing, so it's pretty easy to open and close it inside the other one. But if we had other things like cast, let's say I'm going to put one cast tag in for each person who appeared in the TV series. Martin Freeman is one person who was in the TV series. Now, you'll notice that I have the opening and the closing tag are both inside of here. If I were to take this closing tag and place it here, I no longer have valid XML. You have to put the tags 
in a place where they close appropriately. So if you've got two that open, the second one that opened has to close before the first one does. So the outer tags close last. Um, we can add others so you can use the same tag over and over and over again as long as it has the same meaning behind it. Colin, Hank, Colin Hanks was in uh, the TV series. Cast, we're going to use this tag in both places. It makes sense inside of movie, it makes sense inside a TV series. We can have William H. Macy as a cast member here and Francis McDormand. There we go. So this is an XML file. We've followed the rules. So our attributes have double quotes around them, the values for the attributes. Tags are all opening and closing or self-closing. Tags are nested appropriately. There's only one root tag around the whole thing, and the very first line in our file is the document declaration, the XML declaration. So that's XML. It's all about data. Now, I can send this file to somebody else, and they can use the information to figure out things about Fargo. If you were to send this file to somebody else, they could read it, and it can also be opened by a computer and read by a computer because it follows these rules. It's something that a programming language like JavaScript would be able to read and understand or at least extract the bits and pieces. So you can define something in your code to say, okay, I know what a movie is. I know what a TV series is. I know what a cast tag is. I know what a director's element is. So with these things in mind, you can now go and create your own XML file.